Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I waited for you. I have my base lace on, have my brows on, and I primed my eye with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in Clay. So that's what that color is. And no, it does not conceal my inner corner discoloration, which I thought that it did before, but apparently it didn't. I'm going to put this on now because my lips are dry and it's uncomfortable talking with dry ass lips. So thank you mm, for being here. That feels so good. <laughs> So now I'm not sure if I even want to keep <laughs> this eye primer because it doesn't conceal my inner corner. And the thing is, is because I was so sure that it was going to do that, I purchased two of them. And I'm trying to find where I put the second one. I know it's here somewhere. I just reorganized my station yesterday. I'm going to keep looking. Okay, so here's the one I did not open yet. If you guys would like this, let me know. Leave a comment below. And let me know why you would like to try the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in Clay, which is this color. Let me show you what it looks like open. This is the one I use. So this is the color. I'm going to do another look today. Let me back up. If my under eyes are looking weird, I did not put on concealer today. I have on primer, foundation, a beauty oil concoction, and I set my face, excuse me, with translucent setting powder. I didn't put on the honey powder. I didn't put on the nutmeg. I did put on an e.l.f. putty blush in the shade Maldives or Maldives, however you pronounce it. So that's what's on my face right now. The only things that are on my face. I did say brow. The Fenty MVP brow pencil in soft black, which I used up. I used it up. I do have a backup, but look at that. This is all that is left is that little tiny nub, which doesn't do anything. Look, I actually used this entire brow pencil, so I'm feeling really good about that. So what we're going to do, I'm, a, I'm going to attempt to do a smoky look with this palette. I'm pulling out brushes. I'm going to cut this part out because I am so prepared for every video. So what we're going to take first <laughs> with um, <laughs> an angled shader brush, we're going to take this color here. I'm noticing right now that I do like the Fenty primer better because this is not a tacky primer and I'm noticing that the shadows um, are not, they are adhering but the color is just not showing up and even just that little bit which with the Fenty primer I can do my entire lid in one pass is looking patchy and it's only because I know I need to build the color up because of this primer. I do like the primer, however, and I have used it with other shadows. I'm gonna stop talking now and finish applying this on my lid. I'm gonna dip back and forth into the palette with this color. And as you can tell, I know I said I was gonna stop talking and I didn't. It does build up nicely. <laughs> we're gonna take a small flat shader brush and we're going to use this shade here on the inner corner area. A crease brush with no additional color, actually no color at all, and we're just going to blend these two together. Yeah, I feel like something just fell in my eye. Okay, I'm going to just say this. I have noticed, not from just now, but previous use, that this, 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 they're the glittery shades and it is more glittery than just metallic or shimmer i find that when i place them they stay they show up really well but if you go to blend that's when they start falling out and flaking and there's some in this eye already just from using that brush and i felt some fall out into this eye when i was blending it out so if you're like me and you have problems with shadow in your eye i don't have my contacts in right now so it's a good thing so my eyes will just tear and it'll just flush itself out but if you wear contacts when you're doing your eye look that's something you may want to be extra cautious about just place it and then don't blend it if you're able to do that and i find that whether i'm using a brush to blend or if i'm packing more on with my finger it will still fall out because it's chunky not the chunkiest shadows i've seen but there's enough texture that even packing on with the finger, it will fall out on your face and on your eye. Okay, so let's get back to the look. We're going to take <laughs> this shade here and we're going to place it first with 
the Sephora Drawing Blending Brush number 42 that they don't sell anymore. And I keep checking to see if they do because I really like this brush. And I want to get another one, but they don't. And even blending with this, when I get to the inner corner, it is moving that shade. <laughs> and from my previous use of this palette, that will also create additional fallout. On my face and into my eyes and possibly even up here on my forehead because before I had glitter like just on my forehead too and I'm like how the hell did that get there and it was from blending. We're going to take a brush with no shadow whatsoever and we're going to go in small circular motions just to further diffuse any possible lines between that first shade and the crease color shade. I'm not going in where the inner corner color was because fall out and I don't know if, <laughs> I think you can see with the blending it did cause this shimmer shade to travel so I see it all the way in my crease over here which makes sense because I was doing the windshield wiper motions with the previous brush so just so you are aware those shimmer glittery shades in this palette will travel they travel very easily easily they're always prepared. They carry a backpack. So if you say, let's go, they're like, I'm ready. And they will go wherever you go. I'm going to take this shade here as a brow bone highlight. We're going to take this shade on the first half of the lower lash line. And then this shade on the remainder of the lash line. Blending brush, no color whatsoever. So this is basically the look. I just wanted to see if I can get a smoky look with this palette and let me know what you think. We're not going to do anything on lower waterline today. I am going to use Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I don't even know why I always say it that way. And only once I didn't in my previous video. And then when I watched it back to edit it, I'm like, why didn't I do it that time? I, I don't know. I don't know. So... I'm going to shut up now and finish. We're going to take this one. This is Carnation. Okay, I think this is a little too pastel for the eye look. And so just like I did before, I'm going to go over it with Hollyhock and then I'm going to be like, this is too dark. <laughs> So this is the look and I still think this lip color doesn't go with this eye look. But if you're sending me something, I'm going to use them all in the same look whether it goes together or not just to see. And with the eyeshadow look, I do like it. And for me, when I get a new palette, I do figure out what works, what doesn't. And I'm realizing with this look, using a matte on the lid and a matte in the crease, it's best to put those down first and then do the glitter inner corner color last so that it doesn't travel all through my crease the other day when I did the look I intentionally put that shade in the crease it was not intentional today but with the blending it just travels and I do like the look though and so I've learned how to better use this palette if I want to do like a smoky look and have a bright inner corner color well not bright but a glittery inner corner color and so let me know what you think of this look and <laughs> You will see me in the next video and I kind of want to wipe this off and then do the Fenty Hot Chocolate because I think that would look really nice but we're going to do it and I'm going to cut this part out. As you can see, those lip colors do stay. So we're going to take the Fenty Hot Chocolate Gloss Bomb and going to put that on. I don't know how much help that did because the other color did stain my lips and so my lips are still, even though they're looking shiny, they still have that red color on there. But anyway... I'm sorry about that. We are done. So you guys will see me in the next video. Thanks.